The hills of Coffee County, Tennessee roll on just a little north of the Cumberland Plateau. Along the pristine countryside, roads wind, cows graze, and people wave. Now, if you stop and get directions, you just might find this roadside view that's one of the area's most scenic. Where across the road, you'll find a yard that's one of the most unusual. It's the hilltop home of folk artist Homer Green, who at the age of 82, creates some of the strangest artwork ever to dot a country hillside. And strangest of all, people from around the South have come up here to buy it. Now, Homer's been too busy making it to think too much about that. His colorful front yard gallery changes almost every day. Yeah, I'm doing something every day. May not be this, it's out in the woods getting stuff to work with. He says it all started out of boredom and grew especially after the loss of his wife in 1979. Now, he never set out to become the Beech Grove folk artist. No one's more surprised than him that his weird works have attracted buyers. Where have people come from to buy your stuff? All over the world. All over the world, huh? All over the world. I don't really the state in the world but what they've been somebody here. What do they think of this place? Uh, just like what you said about it. <laughs> Prettiest place I've ever seen. Well, have you made a lot of money doing this? Not too much. No. I burned up about five chains on it. <laughs> you spent a lot of money, huh? I spent a lot of money. Well, I made bears and made everything that can be made out of wood, I reckon. How do you decide what you're going to make? Just get out there and make it. Homer's been everything from a blacksmith to a dairy farmer. But he was supposed to be retired after suffering a back injury working in a factory. What, what does your doctor think about doing all this? Uh, he don't know it, it don't work. It. If he does, I don't give a damn. If I can't <laughs> sit in the house, I ain't going to. Now, in case you can't tell, Homer Green tells it like it is. And while he likes to talk to you about everything, he's least comfortable talking about his creative calling in life, which called rather late. Would well, do you consider yourself an artist? No. I sure don't. But what do you call this, then? I just painted wood, is what I call it. I don't know what the other people call it. No, it ain't. I don't think that everybody claims I am, but I don't think so. I just got out there and got to doing this. It's just a pastime. If I had something else to do, I'd be doing that. Now, if his colorful menagerie of art doesn't keep your attention, his humorous stories about life in the hills will. But beware, Homer Green is also a notorious practical joker. Why, he led me here supposedly to show off some more artwork. Help lift it, it's kind of heavy, get that. Yeah. Look out there! <laughs> oh, my God. Boy, what's wrong with these people? <laughs> well, he got me then. But even worse, he got me later, too. Yeah, some of you fellas read yeah. pretty good. Uh, huh? Yeah. Now tell me what that little ticket that, that says on that thing's nose. Right here? Yeah. What in the hell? <laughs> what did it say? Man, I'm you, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Homer Green loves a joke, almost as much as he loves to stay busy carving these critters out of wood and making these strange sculptures out of discarded junk. Although some of his works have found their way into museums around the country, he's really not sure why. Well, what do you think about being famous for all this? You think you'll be famous someday? No, I don't want to be famous. It doesn't start us to be famous. That's the last thing I want to be. I was raised up, and uh, I want to die just like I was raised. And I don't care a thing in the world about being famous. Later on, Homer led me to the location of his most important piece of work, up on a hill a few yards from his house. It's a guardian angel he made to watch over the grave of his wife, with whom he shared his life for 58 years. 58 years. Well, I bet you miss her. Hell yeah, so I miss her. 
Well, there's no doubt that Homer Green's craft and the visitors it attracts keeps him busy and, well, keeps him going. It certainly keeps the landscape here on the hill colorful and interesting, and just may be the kind of stuff that folk legends are made of. How long do you think you'll keep doing this? I don't know. I just about, well, I quit after my wife died, and people come in, some of my friends are begging me to cut them a piece of this, that, and other. I got started back, I don't know. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do it. <laughs>